Here, last example, 26.6, it says solve 2x plus negative 5 plus 7x equals 5 plus 3x minus negative 10. Uh, before I start dealing with like terms, I'd probably want to deal with this um, plus negative and minus negative situation. I'd like to have the simpler structure of those. So 2x plus negative 5 means minus 5 plus 7x. We get 5 plus 3x and minus minus 10 makes plus 10. So we'll get a simpler structure. Uh, we have like terms 2x and plus 7x, which makes a total of positive 9x. The signs are the same, so I add, and we make sure we get that x on there, and 7 is bigger, so it's positive. Minus 5 has no like terms, so nothing happens to it. On the right-hand side, we have 3x. It has no like terms, but it stays positive 3x, being the first term in the expression on the right-hand side. I'm going to leave it just as positive without a sign on it. And then 5 plus 10 being the same sign, I add 10 is bigger, so it's positive. So 9x minus 5 equals 3x plus 15 is the simplest I can get both sides. At this point, <coughs> I would decide to move my x term. Since 3 is smaller than 9, I move 3x over here to the left-hand side. Positive 3x moves across the equal sign, becomes a negative 3x. Negative 5 moves across the equal sign, making a, making a positive 5. That leaves me with, for x terms, 9x minus 3x equals 6x. For constants, 15 plus 5 equals 20. Final step, divide both sides by 6. And as always, improper fractions, a final answer. It's fine for a final answer, but do make sure to reduce the fraction as much as possible. 20 over 6, both numbers being even, divide by 2 evenly, so 10 thirds would be the best answer.